Trooper Bash. I'm out here with my, my Outcast and I got my my Techno MT410, which I just uh, decided to bring this old uh, J Concepts bug body out of the back from the dead. Uh, I was sitting in my garage and I'm still going to run my green body as well, but I thought I'd just try and fit this and it actually ended up fitting pretty well. Um, it's got a really thick Lexan. I just backed it last night with black. But I think this, I've had this body for at least two years. I used to use it on my, um, my uh, slash, uh, my monster slash 4x4. Um, I just put a new bumper up in front here. And I think this is the T-Bone VX, VXL4. Uh, it normally has a bigger crossbar on the bottom, but I just didn't like it, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, anyway, just out here, I'm going to probably start with the Outcast. Again, I'm going to try uh, 5S on the Techno. I've noticed I've got kind of a lot of slop here in my center diff. So I've got these uh, aluminum upgraded center diff pieces on order. Hopefully that'll help. Um, and nothing too new with the Outcast. I've just uh, turned the brake down since my last bash. Last time I was nosing it pretty hard with this thing at the track. So uh, I'll be running success as always on this guy. I decided to go ahead and just see how this body's gonna fly because if you look at it, it's super, super wide. So it's likely just gonna completely parachute in the air, but I thought it'd be fun to try. Um, somebody just went crazy here at my spot with um, huge boulders pulled out. Um, I piled them up over there, but anyway, this lip looks almost vertical now, so I'm not sure how this gap jump's gonna work out. I'm just gonna give it a go. It's a bummer though, because it's, it's almost a straight line now. It's really, you gotta hit it just right or this thing's gonna end up all over the place. You see all this fresh dirt that's out here now, guys. Yeah, it's like straight up now, dude. It kind of sucks. It looks like I finally broke one of my uh, one of my little uh, knuckles here up in the front. So, anyway, I guess it's gonna be outcast time. I don't think I've got a spare. Oh. Oh. I'm getting 144 on the can. This guy just shut off on me for no no good reason. Looks like my ESC ESC fan just stopped working. Well, it's probably a bad wire. I mean, ESC is only 120, so I'll need to go through this guy and figure out what's going on. Looks like a perfect bash spot. Oh. 
Oh, I just hit a Mickey. Mickey's a 40, 40 ouncer. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> knows it, baby. Ah, all right, guys. Well, my ESC keeps shutting off. I think I'm gonna call it wraps out here. Uh, had a great time. Definitely uh, made some, made a couple cool friends and Justin and uh, DJ. So anyway, shout out to you guys. Uh, keep plugging away with your Outcast. It's an absolutely great, great rig. Uh, we were wrenching away and I was trying to help him with a, a couple different things Anyway, yeah, so I think my ESC I need to go through my wires because I had resoldered them and I like I mentioned I believe and anyway those max 8 um, My my rig keeps shutting off. I'm uh, I've already checked my temps like four times and my temps are fine. So All right guys until next time late <laughs>